This will be President Biden's second visit to the border as president, but he has yet to visit border cities in Arizona. Um, but now the Biden administration is giving this law 212F another look. The White House saying that it's the Senate's fault for not, you know, moving through and the House's fault moving through on that border bill. But the problem is now is the safety and security of families. This is the number one issue across the entire country. I would in fact make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. Border policy considerations. The Biden administration is currently considering a range of new executive actions and federal regulations aimed at addressing the ongoing challenges at the U.S. southern border. Those proposed measures signal a significant shift in approach and could potentially put President Biden at odds with certain groups. One of the key proposals under discussion involves utilizing a section of the Immigration and Nationality Act to restrict migrants from seeking asylum in areas between official ports of entry. This approach aims to discourage illegal border crossings and promote the use of legal channels for seeking asylum. Additionally, there is discussion about implementing a trigger mechanism whereby this directive would only be activated once a predetermined threshold of illegal crossings is reached. The trigger mechanism concept echoes elements of a bipartisan Senate border deal that was proposed earlier but did not advance to the floor for consideration. President Biden has previously expressed support for measures that would provide him with greater authority to manage and control border crossings. He has emphasized the need to address the influx of migrants and secure the border effectively. However, implementing such measures is likely to face scrutiny and may encounter opposition from various quarters. The consideration of these new policies underscores the administration's recognition of the urgent need to address the complex challenges at the southern border. The influx of migrants has posed logistical, humanitarian, and political challenges, necessitating a comprehensive and strategic response. By exploring regulatory and executive actions, the Biden administration aims to strike a balance between humanitarian concerns and border security imperatives. However, any significant policy changes in this area are likely to spark debates and discussions, both within the administration and among lawmakers, advocacy groups, and affected communities. The proposed trigger mechanism reflects an attempt to implement measures in a calibrated manner, responding to changing dynamics at the border. It seeks to provide flexibility while ensuring that policy interventions are timely and responsive to emerging trends. It's worth noting that addressing migration challenges at the southern border is a multifaceted issue that requires a coordinated approach involving federal agencies, state and local governments, international partners, and civil society organizations. The success of any policy initiative will depend on its effectiveness in addressing root causes enhancing border infrastructure and resources, improving asylum processes, and fostering cooperation with neighboring countries. The consideration of these new executive actions and regulations reflects the administration's commitment to tackling the complexities of immigration and border management. As discussions continue and plans are finalized, the administration will need to navigate various legal, political, and logistical considerations to implement policies that are both effective and equitable. Immigration Challenges The Biden administration is exploring a series of potential executive actions and regulatory changes aimed at addressing the ongoing challenges at the U.S. southern border. These proposals, still under discussion, signify a significant departure in approach and could potentially raise concerns among various stakeholders. One key consideration is to make it more difficult for migrants to pass the initial screening for asylum seekers, effectively raising the credible fear standard. This adjustment aims to ensure that those seeking asylum genuinely meet the criteria for protection under U.S. law. Additionally, discussions include plans to expedite the deportation process for individuals who fail to meet these heightened asylum standards. These policy changes, 
if implemented, could be announced as early as next week ahead of President Biden's State of the Union address on March 7. The potential slate of policies reflects the administration's effort to address the void left after a bipartisan border deal was thwarted by congressional Republicans. However, such actions could also invite criticism, with some arguing that the administration had the means to address the migrant crisis earlier but chose not to act. While no final decision has been made regarding the proposed executive actions, the administration is actively exploring various options. It's not uncommon for administrations to consider multiple approaches to complex issues, and the outcome of these deliberations remain uncertain. This will be President Biden's second visit to the border as president, but he has yet to visit border cities in Arizona. Um, but now the Biden administration is giving this law 212F another look. The White House press secretary says on Thursday, President Biden is expected to meet with border agents and discuss the need. Flux of new migrants being uh, bussed, sometimes flown uh, to their cities from uh, southern states. I would in fact make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. The consideration of new executive actions coincides with the White House's efforts to leverage the failure of the border deal for political advantage. Amid mounting concerns among Democrats about the border's electoral ramifications, officials aim to demonstrate to voters their commitment to addressing the issue comprehensively. By announcing policy changes, the administration hopes to signal its proactive stance in managing migration flows and reassure the public that all available measures are being pursued to tackle the problem, especially with the approaching peak migration season. White House spokesperson Angelo Fernandez Hernandez emphasized the administration's dedication to bipartisan efforts to enhance border security and reform the immigration system. However, with congressional action stalled, the administration is compelled to explore alternative avenues to address pressing border challenges. The potential executive actions being considered by the Biden administration represents a strategic response to the ongoing border crisis. While aimed at mitigating migration pressures and bolstering border security, these proposals are likely to evoke diverse reactions and debates regarding their efficacy, legality, and political implications. As the administration navigates these complex issues, the ultimate goal remains to enact measures that ensure both border security and humane treatment of migrants, aligning with border national interests and values. Biden administration's deliberations The debate surrounding immigration policy in the United States is complex, involving political, legal, and humanitarian considerations. As the Biden administration explores potential executive actions to address immigration issues, it must navigate a landscape fraught with challenges and uncertainties. One of the central issues under consideration is the possibility of implementing a ban on asylum seekers entering the U.S. between official ports of entry. While such a move may aim to deter irregular migration and strengthen border security, its effectiveness and legality are subject to debate. Critics argue that such a ban could violate asylum rights and international obligations, particularly if it fails to provide adequate protections for vulnerable groups such as unaccompanied minors and individuals fleeing persecution. Moreover, the implementation of such a ban would face practical challenges, including the allocation of resources and funding. Without sufficient support, enforcement measures may be difficult to implement effectively, potentially undermining their intended purpose. Additionally, the Biden administration must contend with legal hurdles and potential backlash from advocacy groups and political opponents. The White House saying that it's the Senate's fault for not, you know, moving through and the House's fault moving through on that border bill. Let's get it done. And by the way, speak to your agriculture communities and tell them, ask them if they need temporary work. But the problem is now is the safety and security of families. This is the number one issue across the entire country. will wake up 
to mm. the fact that it's an election year will get more dialed in operations along the Texas border. All of this in addition to the hundreds already deployed. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. Furthermore, the administration should prioritize efforts to strengthen partnerships with countries in the region and address the root causes of migration, such as poverty, violence, and political instability. By investing in economic development, security assistance, and governance reforms, the United States can help create conditions that allow people to thrive in their home countries and reduce the need for migration. At the same time, the administration must uphold its commitments to protect the rights of asylum seekers and refugees and ensure that its immigration policies are consistent with international law and human rights standards. This includes providing fair and timely asylum processing, safeguarding the rights of vulnerable populations, and upholding the principle of non refoulement Biden's potential executive order to add restrictions to asylum seekers would require them to prove why considerations come amid election year pressures and widespread criticisms over its handling of immigration issues, reflecting a complex and politically charged challenge that seeks to balance security, humanitarian, and legal concerns. Overall, addressing immigration issues requires a multifaceted approach that balances security concerns, humanitarian considerations, and legal obligations. While executive actions may play a role in addressing immediate challenges, they must be a part of a broader strategy that engages with Congress, stakeholders, and international partners to achieve lasting and meaningful reform. By pursuing a comprehensive approach to immigration policy, the Biden administration can work towards building a more just, humane, and sustainable immigration system for the United States. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.